right. Hi, guys. Okay, so this is your video for 4-6. Uh, we're going to write equations of parallel lines. Okay, so we started in your discovery activity on how to write parallel lines with a y-intercept. So if you need a reminder on how to do that with your paper version of the 4-6 lesson, that's the place to go back and find it. All right, so things that we have learned already. Parallel lines have the same slope, and parallel lines will never intersect. Okay, so if we have lines y equals 3x plus 7 and y equals negative 3x plus 2, and we want to know if they're parallel, that means our, is their slope the same? So remember, we find our slope married to the x right here. So is 3 the same as negative 3? No, they're not parallel. Okay, example 2, we have y equals 2x plus 2. So 2 is our slope. And y equals 2x minus 2. So there's a 2 for our slope as well. 2 is the same as 2, so yes, they are parallel. And not all of our equations are in slope-intercept form. So like example three, if we get an equation in standard form, we need to convert it to slope-intercept form. Okay, so we have two equations here that are both standard form, so we're gonna have to convert them both. Here's your steps. We have to move our x, so we add it or subtract it. And then we have to divide by that number with y. So I'm gonna take this first equation here, three x, plus 2y equals 6. My first step is to add or subtract the x. So I have a positive 3x here, so I'm going to subtract it on both sides, which cancels my x here. And I'm going to bring down that positive 2y. Uh, I do not have like terms over here, so I'm going to bring down this minus 3x and the positive 6. Now my second step is to divide by that number with y. So I'm dividing by 2. Everything gets divided by 2. And I get y equals, that's going to stay a fraction, negative 3 over 2x. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay, so the slope of this line is negative 3 halves. All right, so my second line was 3x plus 2y equals 12. Same steps. I want to add or subtract the x. Again, I have a positive 3x, so I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides to cancel my x, bring down the 2y, bring down the equal, x comes first, minus 3x, and then my positive 12. Second step is to divide by y. So I have 2, dividing everything by 2. So I get y equals, keep it a fraction, negative 3 over 2. And you can always check in your calculator to see if that reduces further. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Okay, so the slope of this line is negative 3 over 2. The slope of the first line was negative 3 over 2. They are the same, so yes, they are parallel. All okay, example 4. We're going to write an equation of the line that is parallel to y equals 3x minus 1 and has a y-intercept of 4. So we did this in our discovery activity. What's the slope? Well, it has to be parallel to this line, so it has to have the same slope as this line. And our slope we can find married to x. So our slope is 3. They told us our new y-intercept was 4. So slope is the m in our equation. Y-intercept is the b. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, right? So y equals m was 3x 
plus b was 4. Example 5, write an equation of a line that is parallel to 2x plus 5y equals 10 and has a y-intercept of negative 3. So if we want it to be parallel, we have to know the slope, but it's in standard form, so I have to convert it to slope-intercept form to find the slope. So we're going to do what we did up here in number 3. 2x plus 5y equals 10. My first step is to move our x. It's a positive 2, so I'm going to subtract it. Cancel the 2x. Bring down 5y. Bring down the equals. Bring down the x part first. And then the positive 10. Now, second step, divide by the number with y, which is 5. Everything gets divided. So we get y equals negative 2 over 5x. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Okay, so what is the slope? Negative 2 over 5 is the slope. What's the new y-intercept? They told us it is negative 3. And then we plug it into our slope-intercept form. Remember, our slope is m. Our y-intercept is b, so we get y equals m x plus b is negative 3. Or you could just write minus 3. Positive and a negative make a negative. Okay, flip it over. Here's the tricky part. Okay, we have an equation that's, we want to write an equation that's parallel to y equals 3x plus 4. And it goes through a point that's not a y-intercept. Okay, so I'm going to show you two different ways to do it, and you pick the way that you like to do it best. Okay, so if you are a formula person and you like using the formulas, this is the way that might be better for you. Okay, so if it's a line's y equals 3x plus 4, then we want our parallel to line to be in slope-intercept form. Okay, so if it's in slope-intercept form already, find the slope married to x, so that's 3. The so line passes through the point, and we know a slope, we use the point slope form to help us write an equation. So point slope form is this. We've got our x1 and our y1 and we know our m and we plug it in. So y1 is negative 2, m is 3, x minus x1 is 2. Two negatives can make a plus. All right. Then we want to convert to slope-intercept form. So we're going to distribute. So we do 3 times x and 3 times negative 2. We could treat that like a negative. It's so negative 6. And then add or subtract this number with y. Since it's a positive 2, I'm going to subtract 2. I'm going to subtract it with the like term on the other side. So I get y. Cancel our 2. Bring down equals 3x. Negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8. Okay, so this line is parallel to the given line. And we can double check and make sure because our original line was had a slope of 3 and our new line also has a slope of 3. So we know that they should be parallel. 
Okay, if you're a person that does not like these uh, formulas and you don't like converting point slope form to slope intercept form, you can use a graph. So that's why there's a graph here. Okay, so you know the point that they gave us was 2, negative 2. Let's plot it. 2, negative 2. And we also know the slope because they gave us the line that it needs to be parallel to. And a parallel means the same slope. So I know that the slope has to be positive 3. So if we think of rise over run, that's 3. Make it a fraction over 1. So I'm rising 3, running 1 from the point that I got. So rise 3, run 1. Now if I keep going... I want to write a slope intercept form equation. If I keep going up in this direction, I'm not going to find my y intercept. So I'm going to reverse my direction. I'll go down 3 and over 1. Now you're going to have to stay with me a little bit because I'm going off the graph. So I'm going down 1, 2, 3 points off the graph and over 1. So that was 6, 7, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8 down here. So my, I'm going to hit that y-axis down here at negative 8. So I have a slope of 3, and I cross the y-axis at negative 8. So if you're good at writing an equation from a graph, here's a way that you can do it. Okay, example seven. We're going to write an equation that's parallel to y equals negative 2x plus 4 and goes through the point negative 2, 2. Okay, so find the slope. Here's my equation. Slope is married to x. So my slope is negative 2. If I'm using formulas, I'm going to write it in point slope form. So here's my x1 and my y1. So y minus y1 is 2 equals m is negative 2. x minus x1 is negative 2. Two negatives can make a plus. I want to convert to slope intercept form. So I have to get rid of these parentheses. And I have to distribute. So I get negative 2x. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. I'm going to bring down my y minus 2. Now I need to get y by itself. So the opposite of minus 2 is plus 2. Bring down my y. Cancel the 2s minus 2x or negative 2x, negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. So here's an equation parallel, and it goes through the point negative 2, 2. Okay. So there's my formula people. What about graph people? Well, we've got this point, so let's start with our point. Negative 2, positive 2. There's my starting point. Now I need to know the slope. My slope had to be parallel to this, so my slope has to be negative 2. Make it a fraction. So we have rise over the run, rise 2, negative 2. So I'm going to go down 2 and run 1. Down 2 and run 1. And now I hit my y-intercept. So I have my y equals, my slope was negative 2, x, and I hit the y-intercept at negative 2. So same equation, I got it two different ways. Okay, you decide which way you like best. You have in a, a lesson for 2, either you're doing it in Delta Math or you're doing it on paper. If you're doing it in Delta Math, you need to come get the second paper because you need to do a few extra problems that Delta Math did not have. Okay. Right, if you have questions, please come ask. Um, if you're, it's during class, you can come ask. If it's 
If you need to come in during tutorials or homeroom, you know what you need to do to get here. All right. Thanks, guys, and good luck.